Another Teferi. Florian Voldaren Scion. 3 3 first strike. The winning po post combat main. If you look at the top, it works in total. I guess I want to look for them. Brutal Cathar. Sludge Monster. Enters the battlefield or attacks, but a slime creature on a slime counter on a creature. And they turn into two twos. Create X two two zombie creature with decay where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. Rounded up. Grafted identity. Ooh. Just mind control. Mind control plus. Edge Witch's Mask. Instead, could go on here. One mana with flashback? That's not that bad. Disturb a turn. One on one. Beloved Beggar. Two mana, 0, 04. Turns into a 4 4 Flying Vidge. Turn. Borrow time. Exile target non permanent opponent to into borrow time. Don Guard the Griff. All right, our white looks solid. But we'll consider... Draw card, discovering... Tap three untapped creatures you control. Tap target creature. See, that's good with the, the decay cards. Component collector. It's a homunculus. May tap or untap target a non land permanent. Draw a card, then transform the tome. Tap target. Wait, what? This card is nuts! Draw a card, then transform it. So it draws a card every other turn, and it taps something down every other turn. That's sweet. The hell? <laughs> It's really cool. Four mana, three two flying. Everybody, great in terms of Our blue's got some good stuff too. The early game's not very good for blue, but eaten alive. Solid removal. Two zombos. Start up your power two or less. Investigate. Pretty good. You know, seven one lines left for one count on target vampire you control. So it can put itself. Raise the effigy. <laughs> the dude is creepy. Oh, they reprinted Alchemist. Check my control magic. Did I read it wrong? Yeah, what about it? Mounted Dread Knights. I'm going to end with about a photo one away. Not bad. Duel for Dominance. So an actual fight, not just a punch. It's no rampant growth or emergent sequence, am I right? Shadow Beast Sighting's good. Devoted Graph Keeper. 2-1 two, for 2. Mill 2 cards. Whenever you cast a spell from your graveyard, tap target creature you don't control. 3-1 can block only creature flying. Oh man, Corpse Cobble's really good with uh, decay creatures. You attack with all of them or whatever, and then sack before they die. This card can go off, huh? Five mana, two four flyer? Ugh, that's on the borderline for me because of the casting cost. Four mana! Four mana is where you want to be with this, but... I'm sure this card is still fine. Five mana is a lot.
Mystic Skull. Fixing, and then it turns into a 5-6. Kind of mediocre fixing, but... So what was, what was my best, or what were my best colors? I think blue was probably my best straight up. Like these. At the top, you can put one of them in your graveyard. It's fine. I don't know if we want that. It seems okay, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Try that out for sure. Not sure how good this is. I guess it's just kind of value. Two flyers later on. <laughs> Iggy from Odd gifting a couple subbies. Mecha Damp Flock, think of the four months of Prime. Ratham 81, think of the 16 months of Prime. And probably Julian, think of the 10 months of Prime. It Payo King, thank you for that eight months. I don't think my black is very good, but kind of want to at least splash for this card. Try that out. Teferi doesn't look very good to me. Yeah, I think our white was our second best color, but... I don't know if I want to do blue-white. Because I kind of want to try splashing, like, go green, black, blue. But I probably should just go blue-white. Could still splash, of course. Don't know if we're going to need these silver bolts or the skull. I don't have a way to sacrifice a creature, do I? Oh wait, I have one way to sack a creature, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. We need to do some shaving here. I guess I'm not doing so much of the decay stuff if I'm going blue-white. Doesn't even seem good enough. I think this card might be okay. Two one one counters for two mana. It's not that bad. This also seems like it could be good. I have a lot of humans, right? Nine. I don't think we need these so much if we're not doing the... We don't have as much disturbed for sure. Well, now we do, maybe. This might be better than the mask. I don't know. Do I have enough early game? Maybe not, but we'll see. We should be okay. My removal is what's lacking. Well, no, that's not even true, is it? What do I have? I have the Brutal, I have the Borrowed Time, I have the Candle Trap. I could run these Silver Bolts if I want to. But we're playing best of three right now, so I can always bring them in versus a uh, Werewolf Heavier opponent. 
Oh, that's true. The Sludge Monster turns my decay creatures into uh, creatures that stick around. Yeah, this is the card I'm most interested in trying out. This seems really solid. Just draw a card every other turn. Or sorry, draw a card every other... Yeah, draw a card every other turn and then tap something down every other turn. You know what? I'm going to add the skull. I'm going to add the jack-o'-lantern. I think I'm going to try splashing the corpse cobble. Which means I could also splash like Rite of Oblivion if I wanted to. Maybe even like the Diagraph Horde doesn't seem like a terrible splash. Maybe I'll just cut the Flare of Faith. Add a 1 of Swamp, maybe. I'll try it like this. Try some new cards in this format. Alright, hand looks great. Remember, it's not ramp, this is just fixing. But it does turn into a creature later on. So, I don't know if you, I would run this in a 2-color deck. But if you're running more than two colors, the skull seems nice. Tetsuo 3030! Thank you for that. 11 months of Prime. Everybody's got Ward. Yeah, the Don's Guard. Don Guard. Hey, we hit! Thanks. What's up, Samp6? Thanks for the five months sub. Old Stick Fingers. Green black X. When you cast a spell, reveal cards on the top of your library until you reveal X creature cards. Put X all creature cards with this many grave and then put the rest in the box. Oh shoot, I messed up. I should have uh Oh wait, well, never mind. I could have done this in response and then if they wanted to or if they put it on top, it would just immediately get milled. So now they can put it back on top. Uh alright, I guess I'm never gonna draw another land again. Everybody has this card. It doesn't even make freaking decay creatures, it just makes actual tutus. 
So busted. They're taking it? LSV, thank you for that seven months of Prime. Is this that same one? Yeah, hostile, hostile. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, just the name gets me. Okay. Clamor, thank you for the four months. Izzy Kun, thank you for the 27 a month sub. All right, opponent has a lot of graveyard effects, so. I have a way to exile their graveyard. I have a dissipate, but that's a counter. Not necessarily a way to. Uh, I don't think this is quite good enough. They had some werewolves too, right? Wait, well, I didn't even see. What is this? 4-3 Trampler for 4, whenever it enters the battle... No wait, it enters the battlefield uh, with a 1-1 one, one kill. That's pretty good. I mean... If they have Tol... Tovalar? What's his name? Tovalar. If they have that, I probably need to bring in a counter. Card is just unbeatable if it resolves, right? Might just want to bring in both of these. Maybe... Cut the corpse cobble plan then. Bring back in a consider, or maybe two considers is fine. Oh wait, let's see what happened here. Uh, I might want to go heavier blue now. We have more double blue than double white, so that probably makes more sense. Oh, that's true, I have the bolts. Right, right, right. Maybe bring in one of the... Okay, I guess we just don't even need those. How many werewolves did they play, though? Well, they didn't actually play any werewolves. Uh, sorry. <coughs> uh, right, of course. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think Silver Bolt is probably main deck playable. I think there are better removal spells, but I guess you'd have to do a check how many werewolves slash whatever are in the format. What's up, Mars Planet? Thank you for that. 16 months of Prime. TQ! Thank you for the 10 months. Iggy's gifting some subs. Subs. Uh, so wait, I cut, I cut one of the double blue cards, but I still have mind control and the sludge dude. But then I also have the three three for three. I guess it goes both ways. Ooh. Oh, wait, you know what? I didn't realize that this continues to eat things, huh? It keeps flipping it, yeah. It actually is brutal. That's kind of neat. So, it doesn't transform when it turns into the Brute. 
But then if it turns back into the Brutal Cathar, it will eat another creature. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This can become a somewhat of a liability for sure, but... Oh no, I know I know the transform keeps the exiled creatures, but I'm saying it has to transform twice to get another creature. Oh, no, here we go. Hey! <laughs> that is certainly one you don't really want to eat with uh Okay. <laughs> They're off it. They're like, ah, ha, ha. Uh. They're off it. This hand's real bad. But oftentimes I say that and then I keep the hand, so. Eh, that's my normal go-to. This hand's real bad. Keep. Ooh, yeah! Trust me, the deck is so good, I can't possibly lose. I didn't think you would have the option to cast this if you didn't have a creature, since it says as an additional cost. I didn't see a scry animation from that. Did they scry to the top? Did I miss it? I didn't see it. Or did it just not scry? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if there's like four damage to an attacking creature, but that type of card has been relevant or prevalent in Magic's history, so I'm gonna play on my creature pre-combat, because if it does die, then I get to put a counter on the flyer. Nah, you good, I got you, bro. Kind of creepy too. Look at that art. My face. <laughs> There's the Florian. So if it had dealt dam, or if they had dealt damage to me. Oh no! It triggers every turn. Never mind. So I guess what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to take their Florian, sack the Outrider, pump my Griff. Attack for four and then get a trigger, right? Seems good. I think I'm actually just going to get rid of a land and pass. I want to hold up the Corpse Cobble. It seems better than playing Candle Trap on their mob. Well, no. The reason that I played the land pre-Florian was that I could guarantee holding up Corpse Cobble. That was intentional. Feels like an unnecessary attack there. I 
Well, remember, AFR was supposed to be more akin to a core set, so yeah. Ooh la la. I mean, I have the combo, I have the sack in my hand, right? <laughs> the power of the sacrifice creatures. I'll just take the devoted here. Well, no, no. Because we would get the uh, the Disturb of the 04. It's a 4 4 flyer on the Disturb side of things, right? Target creature you control gets plus 2 plus 0 and gains lifelink until end of turn. When that creature dies this turn, create a 1 1 white. Okay. Wow, they get to do it all! What the hell? I'm just gonna take the hit. I don't really want to give him an extra card. Some Jack. Uh. All right, I guess. Ship him. We might make their unruly mob a little bit larger, but I'm okay with that. Mono hits again, huh? Did identity have the changed art? What do you mean? Destroy target creature without flying. I mean, there are a lot of uh, graveyard cards in the format. I think Jack O' Lantern is, yeah, easy main deck. It cycles for two mana. And again, if you're playing more than two colors, it's also fixing. Menace. Guess we'll go ahead and sack this and uh, see what we find. I'm okay attacking with everything here. This is still gonna be a three. Th uh, sorry. Oh no! Wait, I just made that a four four. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have targeted that. This is up to one creature, right? Yeah, might have made a mistake. Creatures you control get plus one plus one. It's under turn. If you control three or more creatures, okay. So only we have two. Well, that doesn't actually matter. That's fine. They didn't even need to do that, right? That was going to be the same difference. Oh, wait a minute. Could I have killed them this turn? No. Never mind. This was already dead. Yeah, that one, that one doesn't have the ability. Okay, I see. It 
it's a solid C+. There, do, there does seem to be a lot of different ways to interact with the graveyard in this format, so... Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, it cycle, uh, cycles for two mana. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What's up, good Xerox? Thanks for the 57 month sub. Alright, uh, so they're just straight up Mardudu. Sure, it's also a cheap spell to trigger the day-night cycle. Got the tome! An actual hee haw! Oh, thank you for the 27 months of. They put me on the play. Okay. Yeah, so. It does look like they scry, it just doesn't say what they do with it. I have a feeling I'm probably just going to want to deal with the Alchemist right now before it deals too much damage to me. Alright, let's go. Start toming it up. colon space creature. Tainted adversary. 2-3 death touch. And it's about a feeling you may pay 2 in a black any number of times. When you pay this cost 1 or more times, put that many 1-1 one -one counters on it, then create twice that many 2-2 two -two decay zombies, huh? Oh, they don't even have an extra black. Card's really good. That card's also really sweet. 2-2 two, two that grabs... 2-2 two, two in white that grabs a land, and then it transforms into a 3-3 three, three lifelinker. Yeah, well now Deep I've got a chilling chronicle. Creature. Hmm? 1-1? One, one. Oh, what did I say? Turns into a 3-3 three, three lifelink. That Florian thing again. What the fu? Maybe they just want the trigger of Florian? I don't know what this is, but we'll make this block. We can't blade brand without black. Hey, big old raiding partner, big old raiding party from Reed, the Reader Rabbit himself. Thank you, my friend. We are playing sealed of this new format for all of the viewers. So I need... Coven is always three different powers, okay. Let's... I guess to start off by attacking for five and turning off the Florian for now. I mean, I have enough mana to play this and flip it immediately, so maybe that's just a better play than anything else. For now. Well, that's no good, because now all those turn back to normal. 
Yeah, yeah, I know it's tapped. So I'm gonna take four here. Yeah, that Florian card's kinda strong. Oof. This is best of three sealed this time. What's the floor? Three mana, three three first strike. Uh, and then look at the top two cards you like to put one of them into your graveyard. Oh god! Ugh. <laughs> the monstrosity making land tapping awful. I guess I'm just gonna turn off the death touch. Well, no, we're gonna need to exile the Florian at some point. Yeah, God, stupid fixing. It's like having a chromatic lantern on the battlefield. I might just chump the adversary here with my beloved beggar to make a 4-4. Never compare me to you medium pleb chatters. I am a golden god mod. I live in infamy. Asba is a medium chatter as an example. Alright, don't cry, Iggy. I don't need to see your tears. Well, I probably don't need to do that yet. They have all of these day-night cards. One damage to each opponent. Hey, we drew a Planeswalker. All right, choose up to one target artifact. Come to one. Untap those permanents you control. Tap the chosen permanent. You don't know, get too lively. Hey, that's really good with our... Uh... Oh, well. I guess not on this side of it, but... One target, not one. Has been through enough. I think we need to hold the tap down, right? So. Uh, this doesn't matter. No, because if I use it first, it goes back to the tome, and I, I want to tap something down this turn. It's good next turn when I can draw a card, untap it, and then tap something. What? I'm confused. Wait, what is it? Menace? Oh, I didn't even realize that thing had a menace. Bruh, leave me alone. Dude, Florian. Too good. I can't. I need three different power creatures. Like so. So now I want to draw, and then I can untap it. Now we're on the good cycle, because now I can tap on their turn, draw on my turn, tap on their turn, draw on my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gucci baby. No! We know more Gucci baby. You're almost boring me. Uh, I guess I'm gonna minus here. Aha!
The identity is not all that great ATM. I think I just want this cycler. So let's play, oh, I don't even need to play that pre-combat, right? I almost want to attack here. Let's see, I have, no, I have more than enough mana. I have 11 mana. All right, let's just play this pre-combat. I might not want to actually attack. Chat, it has vigilance. Of course I get. I can attack with it no matter what. <laughs> Dummies, <laughs> idiots. God, get good. Read the cards. Oh, this is going face. All right, well, Teferi lives. I am gonna let them, I think, get the... Trigger. Uh, needs a land, but it's pretty good. This is a May, right? Yeah, so we can hopefully flash out the Griff at the end of their turn and then attack, draw an extra card. I like their style. That is to say, their lands. Even more value now. Because we drew the one drop, we can uh, return that with my little griff. Cathar Commando. Two mana, three, one flash. Interesting. In white. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. I mean, I guess I kind of have to. Even though I have both of these in my hands. Kinda sucks. More importantly, the borrowed time would be annoying to lose like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna flash out the 2-2 flyer and then... Start beating down in the air. Fang... Fangblade Brigand. 3-4... It's plus one, plus one, and gains first strike, and then it flips into... Wow, that card is... Got a lot of abilities. Ooh. Did you make that? Because I have a feeling that I wanted to make that. Glad they traded off their uh, commando. Oh, with the skull, I can actually activate the ability. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Four three flyer for five. Whenever it attacks, it deals one damage to target creature or defending player controls. If that creature is a zombie, deals two damage to it instead. Peace. Just... Oh, this is only two mana to disturb. Chumping, huh? The bad sign for me. Burn down the house. Choose one, five damage each creature in each planeswalker. Or create three devils with the ping ability that devils always have. And they gain haste. Okay, um fine. I don't know if Red White has a way to interact with instants and sorceries in their graveyard, but they have so many creatures that I guess 
rather just get rid of the card that's scary, scary. Mill ourselves. I think milling your opponent in this format is generally going to be bad, the wrong play. Oh nice, we got just a pass from them? I could put them on a two turn clock here. That seems correct. And we'll just leave this on the battlefield for now with threat of activation if they target something. Cycle it end of turn if they don't. Okay, we can revenge and GG. Red white, more or less beatdowns. Burn down the house is kind of scary. Yeah, they had some pretty expensive spells. The Corpse Cobble can be really, really good versus the Wrath as well, though. And they... We didn't see any uh, individual targeted removal. I don't necessarily need to sideboard too much if I don't want to. Is a 1-4 good versus them? Medium, fine. I guess we probably just want to bring in the bolts. This doesn't kill that though, right? No, but it kills this thing. And the majority of their smaller creatures. Even the dragon. Yeah. Probably get some bolts in. Maybe this card is just not worth splashing. I guess we can leave in the jack-o'-lantern since it's still probably worth it. Has some amount of value. I've done two seals, I have opened two Teferi. Alright. On the draw with the Cycler. Easy keep. That's an easy keep. Wintro! 69 months! <laughs> 69 Okay to miss one land drop, I think. Playing on an 04 seems pretty good here. Can block only creatures with flying. Um. 
<sighs> yeah, again, I'm just gonna deal with the Alchemist. I'll take three. Alright, nice, no plays. This is sealed. The sludge. Will I do draft later? Probably eventually. I don't know what that is. The card's kind of annoying, isn't it? I think I like running out the 3 3 here instead of bolting. Stops their um, perforator from attacking. What's up, Russ Fireling? I think you the 35 months of Prime. Take five here, maybe? That's three. Wait, is that only once per turn? No. Okay, well, I'm just gonna pass and... Oh god, I know what's gonna happen! I'm gonna pass, the Dawn Guard's gonna trigger, and how many lands are we gonna see, chat? Three? Four? Okay, they cast a spell. Oh! Uh-oh. Kill my borrowed time, maybe? We got some problems. I'm gonna have to kill the uh, Stinger now, instead of the Alchemist. They only have one card in their hand, so. While annoying, it's not doing as much as the Stinger does represent. Can we kill it in response? The Commando? No. Alright, make them invest three mana there. Dude, the O4 has done work. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Hey, we did it! Let's slow things down. I know, I know. I'm right on time. Second year, second year. Who's counting? Hold. Old. I haven't immediately died here, so maybe I get another turn.
Hey, we got them. They forgot to activate. <laughs> Hold. If I get one more turn, I think we got them. Nice. Bingo, bingo, bongo, baby. Actually, give me a moment or a few. Casual seven spells in my hand still, turn ten or something, whatever it is. Yeah, right here on the left side. Where the uh, adventures would go. Oh, it doesn't take away their creature types. Held the baby, baby. Hmm? Oh, I left my swamp in, lol. It'll be a good bait. It will never hurt me, I'm sure. They're gonna play around a black card every single point of the game. Got the tome plus Teferi combo! That stings. Look at that. Look at that, will you? Now they're scared. Valid to play uh, to run off color lands just for mind games. Probably not, unless that land also like scrides or something. And can produce one of your other colors. <laughs> Basically, the campuses. Sure. Show me what you got. Do I want to get super greedy and draw a card here and hope to hit a land? Because I could. I'll do it, goddammit. Or I could just go Dawn Guard plus Bolt. Yeah, it's fine. No, my veteran. Damn it, we would have hit it too. Discard a card for the ward, huh? Ah. 
value. There go my lands. Okay, I need to... I need to slow things down a little bit. Speeding things up. And some think time only flows in one direction. I guess tapping is safer. For them to pump the stinger, they have to invest three mana. Does that three or does that two one kill a creature or a planeswalker? I mean, what the hell is this? Kind of annoying. One, two, one, two. Tap the Scoundrel, can block the Stinger, Vandal hits for two. Zilver Monkey! Thank you for the four months of Prime. They're not even gonna bother attacking with the Stinger. <laughs> now that was a surprise. Stop it! We're still living here. Going to eight. Still have the combo of Teferi plus Tome, which is nice. I can actually mill their dragon now if I want to as well. That might be worth it. Get out of here, dragon. Old baby! This tome with Teferi is just going off. Oh, snap block. Let's go. What do you got? I got six booty. Six. Oh. Well, 
burn it in. I'm familiar with bullies like you. Give me a moment. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. I can go three, three, one. I guess I don't need to attack though. I think we want to save the zombie for our uh, mind control. We can just go draw a card. Level two. No! Edolba, I think that tier one sub. So I have to chump chump if I want to keep Teferi alive. But we can at least make them invest a little bit of mana there. Sorry, I don't need a chump chump. What am I talking about? Make them pump though, yeah. I'll we'll keep Teferi alive. How much life has Teferi gained? Alright, they're hellbent. I'm at 13 cards left in my deck. We are running low. Great. That is not what we were looking for. Artifact, creature, and second here, second. Chat, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. How about that? Take that. Just wondering if I wanted to leave up the Griff, but I guess we'll just cycle the Lantern. Probably should have cycled Lantern first, actually, before doing anything else if I was gonna make this play anyway. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is just eat the Vandal, or trade with our Flyer. Fairy goes bye-bye. Oh, they drew something? It's not very good for us. Oh wait, what? They just misblocked. Or maybe they thought my 3-1 was relevant? Huh. Well that worked out nicely. That's pretty good. Okay, so we can turn off a creature with that. I have 10 cards left in my deck. Well, I mean, we missed land for so long, it only makes sense that I'm about to draw them all, right? <laughs> Wait, there's only one land in the top six, then. Okay. Do I actually need to turn off this thing? I think I do at this point. Can 
I sack this at any time. Yeah, as long as I have three different creatures. Um. They might even block here, just for an extra card. Right, I know it's different. I know, I know I need another creature still to make that work, but... Oh my god, what? What an absurd draw! Just six power worth of Trample Haste? doesn't trample or anything, right? It's actually not that bad. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. have to start attacking. I don't know if this is right to tap a 1-2, but my 3-1 can't block. I know they just want to eat a card, or rather get a card here, but... Really? Okay, sure. Sure, why not? I have 12 mana, 5, 8, 9, 10. Sludgy boy! I mean, we knew we had basically nothing but gas coming up. They're due for a land, I would think. They just left themselves dead on board here. All I have to do is eat the 2-2, two -two, take the 1. They don't get to draw a card. Let's go. Notably, I could have sludged my own Soul Keeper so that I could block some ground creatures, but at that point we had turned the corner. Ah. That's good. The burn, burn the accursed can't hit uh, planeswalkers. So it's because I have more double blue cards that are important. Or maybe I don't like. I guess I'm not casting this on turn four. No, you're right. That's fine. I think we might even just want to bring in a 1-4 versus them. This jack-o'-lantern didn't seem super relevant. The 1-4 re seemed really good. It just bounces off of the occultists. They've got a lot of rant, like the double 3-1 token makers. 
We're going to collect some components, I think. Eternal Cross Boss. Thank you for the four months of Prime. Yeah, the first one I did was best of one. This is best of three. You again. <laughs> I don't think I bother placing candle trap on that. The component collector is going to brick wall that for a long time. Oh, they reprinted interloper, huh? And I think that I'd rather just trade with Griff. No! Why not Silverbolt? What do you mean? Why not Silverbolt what? Oh, turn one bolt, sure. I could have, yes. Let's go four, four minutes. I'm over here on the left. This is maybe bad. This is more susceptible to blowouts. I think blocking the stinger might have been better with the 1-4. But I also didn't want them to transform that, even though I have the silver bolt and candle in my hand. Again. Alright, let's see. Wait, I can actually pass here, can't I? Because then I tap something. Oh, but then that transforms too. Yeah, let's just go like this. Candle pass. Griff trade with the interloper there. 1-1 one, one can't attack into my 1-4. And then we draw to Fairy, and we win! They need a land to attack with the Stinger, and the 1-4 bounces off the 2-5 nicely. Alright, 1-4 down. Take three, I go to eight. We have one mana tap available. That's gonna do some work actually. Go here, here, gain a life. Pass. I'm gonna tap down the two five. Because if they want to deal one extra point of damage, they have to tap three mana, which I think I'm okay with. Sure, now they're out of cards. This always attacks. Getting got by the first strikers again. <laughs> Another scenario where I have too many things to do and not enough mana to do it all. Wow. God. Uh, similarly. Goddamn top deck. Frickin'. Ah.
expected them to not draw that land. I guess if they drew a spell, it was probably worse for me. This do. So whenever another creature leaves the battlefield, I gain a life. Eye control leaves the battlefield. This can block. 3-3. Three, three. Well, a little bit short. First strike that down. Mind control doesn't work. What were those blocks? What do you mean? I had to block both the stingers if any of them attacked. Nah, this says another creature though. So I don't have enough mana to do it all. Nope. Nope. Ah! All right, we can win the next one. <sighs> yeah, they top deck the kill a creature deal two to me when they were hellbent. No, was it? That was what killed us. Uh, there's a lot of merit to holding your cheap spells, though. Like, I don't even know if it was correct to run out the whatever it's called on turn one because of um, the night and day. Silex93! I get a 22 month sub. Although, I do think it makes it sense to run it out now. That's fine. Hellspark Elemental. Wait, that gains three life? Oh, I didn't even notice that thing had lifelink. Sure. Could have waited too. But I think I want to start smashing. Well, there, I guess there's another reason not to run it out early. We knew they had that in their deck. Milled the Teferi, but we also milled our um, veteran here, so we got a little bit of value. Sure. sure. Ooh, it's a lot of trample damage. Too many lands. I think borrowed time on either of those is pretty loose. This is the same opponent. This is not a different opponent, that's why it's red-black again. This is the third game we've played. I'm gonna gain two life back here. But... We know they have double burn card that deals two damage and deals two damage to me and five damage to a creature though. I need to draw something. 
decent. Alright, well, hope they don't have burn last card in their hand. Draw two, lose two. That's a pretty good hit as well. But it's unlikely they're going to have a removal spell now for my griff, I would think. Okay. Spell here would be fantastic. Spell would be huge. Nice, that's actually quite good. Let's go! World first 4-0 in this format, please! No more trampling nonsense. Pick him up! You're dead! Scoop! <laughs> Undisputed. Undisputed. Give me my money. Let me restart the client real quick.